Uh, and that's what, that's what the first thing I would like to say. Second thing, please, henceforth, this is the end of May. I think we have two weeks more to the exam. Please, and please, by God, for God's sake, try to create time to start going through chapter by chapter. So anytime, any day, feel free to ask me questions. Send me a screenshot of your calculation. Ask for clarity. Be sure. So whenever you know you are ready to take your mock exam, I will share the link with you. I have a computer-based questions that I've created. It cover all the chapters from chapter one to six. Just for you to prepare. Don't be scared though, because some people, they don't take it. So it's not to scare anybody, but just at least for you to have a kind of a, a prototype or it, it, that's why it is called a mock exam so that you can practice with these and you'll be able to have <clears throat> confidence in yourself. Like uh, to some extent, I've been able to prepare for this exam. So these are the strategy we put in place to help our students to pass. We teach, we put in effort to make you understand. We also follow up with you. We make sure by disturbing you, every day you are doing something. And we give you the privilege to take a mock exam, computer-based mock exam. It's created in a Google form where if you are interested, I can share your score with you after you have taken it. So I hope that is clear now. So please, let's create time. We have two weeks more to the exam. By God's grace, this weekend, we're going to finish our classes so that I can have enough time and set to down and plan accordingly. And by the grace of God, you are free to take up your test. I can even share the link on the page if it did not scare you. So anybody that is ready can take it. So I've programmed everything. Just input your details and start the test. Uh, start the mock uh, simulation exams. So it is MCQ, it's multiple choice. Ask theory, it ask calculation. Is that clear, class? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, any observation, any addition before we continue with our today's class? The mock test, is it time bound? I've not made it time bound. I've thought about it. But if you want me to make it time bound, I can do that. Oh, well. no, no, don't make it time bound. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Make I can it. be doing it and quickly refer to the. Yes, yes. To the it's classic. It, yes, yes. So I didn't make it time bound because I thought of what you just said now. The purpose is not for you to write a real exam, it's for you to, like, oh, this question, where will it be? Oh, hey, let me go click on and check my study material. You can even you get that kind of thing. So okay. I, it's not time bound. Not time bound. No. So I won't make it time bound. I even thought you want me to make it time bound. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I I have I have a, a platform that I can add. It is like an add in into the exam that will make it time bound. But I thought of what you just said now that since the purpose is not for us to like have a real time exam. It's for us to get prepared. When you see some questions that I twisted, the way I twisted it, you will know that yes, this could be something real. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the last class we talk about project planning and scheduling, where we explain that uh, a network, we explain the terms network. <clears throat> You said the network is a graph. Uh -huh. Anybody hmm. we, that we didn't have time to read, how do we want to have time to revise? Uh -huh. Can anybody define a network? A network is a graph which consists normally of nodes is, or a the graph. The network is, is a what? A graph. A graph. Uh -huh which consists numbers of nodes or junctions. Yes, it consists Junction numbers points. of- 
of nodes. Uh -huh. It's also called junction All point. Points. Yeah. Okay. That are linked together by arc. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, linked together by arc. Those line are the by line or arc. So we also made mention that a project planning and scheduling is meant to do three things. What are those three things? Planning, scheduling, and controlling. And controlling. So project planning and scheduling techniques involves A, planning, B, scheduling, and C, controlling. We also talked that uh, this can be applied the applications. Road construction, events, to plan events, just as relocation, construction, etc. So we now look at what are the terms, terms in inventory control and management, and in project planning and scheduling. Sorry, terms in project planning and scheduling (PPS). One of the terms is activity. What is an activity? What is an activity class? An action. Mm -hmm. Or project operation which requires time and resources to complete. Yes, a time is an action that requires time to complete. It requires time and resources. It's an action or project. It's an action or project that requires time and resources. that requires time and resources to complete. So to save us our time, we don't forget, we also talk about domain activity. It will have what? Zero duration, isn't it? We have event. Event is what? Start or what? Class. Event is what? Start or completion of an activity. Start or completion of an activity. So these are the explanation we gave in the last class. I think Mr. Taufik is not in class again. And I don't think Mr. Shegun is with us. So let me, please, just a minute, let me check Mr. Shegun. Let me quickly check on Mr. Shogun. Uh, Mr. Taufik.
Okay, maybe Mr. Tafik is having an issue with the network. Okay, let's continue. I think they will, they will join us at their convening. So we've been able to explain this to the best of our ability. And where we stop is the two concepts of analysis of project planning and scheduling. So the project planning, two methods of project planning and scheduling analysis. So it, both of them have joined, have accepted them to join the class. So we are good to go. We talk about the critical path, this critical path method, CPM. Which is CPM. And I explained that sometimes they call it, please, if you are not talking, mute yourself because of- Mr. Taufik, mute yourself. So sometimes they call it CPA or CPM. We also have the second one, which is known as program or project. Sometimes they call it program, sometimes they call it project, evaluation, review technique. which is PERT. So I was able to explain the differences between the two. Critical path is the longest path through the network. It has three computations, forward pass, backward pass, and float computation. Critical path is deterministic in nature. We use float in critical path. For project evaluation and project or program evaluation review technique, it is probabilistic in nature. It requires three time estimates, most likely time, most optimistic time, and post pessimistic time. It involves calculation of expected time, variance, and standard deviation. We use Slack in project evaluation and review technique. So I was able to explain the differences between these two in our last class. And we started with an example and in that example, that is where we shall continue. So in that example, we're able to compute, we're able to draw the network diagram. We have the activity. We have the predecessor activity. And we have the duration. So for the purpose of those of us that couldn't have time to go through it, I want us to draw the network diagram again, start our forward pass computation accordingly. Or should I just go to backward pass? We have A, B, C. So which it stop at where? I think it stop it stop at which letter? F. F. It stops at F. Yes. Okay, so nothing is preceding A. What about B? B and C. A, A is preceding them. What about D? B, B C. E, B, C, D, E. What is preceding D? B, 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 what is, B. Preced, what is preceding E? C, D, and, and E. F. So what about the duration? We have 24, 50, 78, 108. 103, not 108. 103, I mean. Okay. 70, that's 70. No, no, One, no, no, no. Three, that no. is 78. In place okay. of 103. Can you take yes. me yes, one after the other? 24 followed by 50. 50. Followed by 
seven eight. Follow by. One o three. Next. One thirty. Next. One five. One. Five five. One five five. So to draw the network diagram, we start from the first activity. Nothing comes before it. That's why we have the start and the completion of that activity. So the activity A, because nothing precedes it. After doing the questions, in your MCQ question, nobody will ask you to draw the diagram. They will have drawn the diagram for you. So your job is to be able to read the diagram the observant, they want to test how observant you are and how you can pay attention to details. So this is the preceding activity. B is attached to A, C is also attached to A. So we have node three, you take it as B. B is node four, we take it as D, uh, C rather. Because B and C are both attached to A. More so, we have D attached to B, and we also have E attached to C. Both converge together, and F is attached to both of them. So this is the network diagram, and we have durations under each accordingly. So this is 24. B, duration for B is 50. Duration for C is 103. Duration for C is, one, is okay. 78. Duration for E, 130. 130. And duration for F is 155. Yeah. Mr. Shagun, welcome. Good morning. Mr. Taufik, you're welcome back. Good morning, sir. Yeah. So in our four part computation that we started, four pass computation. We started this last time. I explained that you need a design of a box. Activity and duration. Earliest start time, earliest finish time. Latest start time, latest finish time. So EST, EFT, LST, LFT. Earliest start time, earliest finish time. Latest start time, latest finish time. So we, we drew a box for each of this so this is the approach i use a this is b This is C. This is D. This is E. And they both converge together to F. So the duration of A is 24, for B is 50, for C is 78. Are we together? For D, 103, for E, 130, for F, 155. I'm writing it here. So 
What is the earliest start time at the beginning of the activity? Emanuela? Zero. It's zero. Zero. Thank you. So we are moving in V direction. We're going to add the earliest start time plus the duration to give us the earliest finish time. Is zero plus 24? 24. Because B and C are attached to A, 